Alrighty, you're welcome back. If you just joined the show, this is the perfect time to be a part of our conversation. I told you before the break, we have a very, very, very special guest in the studio this morning. And I've talked about a number of things or how you can get to know him. First things first, though, he's got 200 million plus career streams, uh, uh, 1 million plus Spotify listeners, talking about just music in general. And also, he was recently... Um, in 2021, unveiled by the Mavens. He's known for songs like Love Don't Cost a Dime. And also, uh, you just saw his video right now. Magix is our very special guest in the studio. Hey, Magix. Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you in the studio. Good to, I'm, I'm sharp. happy to be here. Nice, 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 nice. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Okay, so of course, you're not a stranger. We know all your hits. Uh, <laughs> Love Don't Cost a Dime. Uh, we just saw all over right now. Yeah. And you've got a brand new single, yeah. Maria. Yeah, it okay. is. It is out now and it's, uh, it's banging. It's banging, <laughs> banging, banging, banging. Okay, so talk to me about the music now. Um, what, it's your third single for this year, yes? Yeah. Okay, so who produced the song and what's the message behind it? Um, it was produced by John P. And um, it's basically like about um, what we all like, we all, we all seek sometimes, you know, which is which is that gratification, that early gratification, you know. Um, and sometimes we don't get it, you know, especially if, if you like someone enough, you know. Are you talking uh, from personal experience now? Mm. No, it's okay <laughs> to talk from personal experience. So I know that people yeah, do yeah, so from like, So the name Maria came from someone um, that I used to know okay. when, I was, when I was quite very, very young. And, you know, like all this, this scenario is like, you like this person, yeah. You know, but the person doesn't like you like you as much, you know. But then you can't even avoid the person because <laughs> your mom will still send you to go and buy a diary <laughs> at their shop every evening. So you have you have told this person that I like you, and the person is like, you know, I, I'm focusing on my sister said, you know, and then and then you still always have to see this person every day because you like eating beans when you come back from school you have to just cover yourself <laughs> in that shame <laughs> you know yeah so so that's just like i think that's that's where the name stuck okay in my head, so fantastic yeah. all right so generally we like i mentioned you put out three singles already this year yeah are these songs leading up to something yeah of course um i'm working on my album okay. right now and it's it's coming it's coming really soon you know okay. and i'm so happy because i've been i've been in the studio you know i've been working on really really you know intelligent and intentional stuff you know and i can't really wait to put them out you know mm. as a body of work you know this okay. is my first album give us a name give us a title give us you know what so give us I'll, all the I'll give here. You a time i'll give you a time time frame okay how about the name title mm. as well no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right um is, is time frame within the next five months next five months yes okay how about yeah. collaboration be next week <laughs> i don't want to say anything about collaborations no well. no I'll just give us one name just one name one uh name. okay so i'll be so this is the thing we've not selected the songs oh we have okay. songs yeah <laughs> okay okay but i've not come to select the songs yet that is the track list you know so i can't say that Okay, this these are the songs the that make the album. Yeah, so, and I'm still recording. Okay. You know, so it's, it's a tricky thing. So generally, how, how many songs would you say you have? Do you have like a thousand songs? You have like, you know, all um, Songs that I have, that I've recorded, should be more than like 250. Okay. Yeah. Should be, should be there. If it's not up to that, maybe like 200. Mm. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the Mavens, right? So generally, mm. I mean, you were, you came from the academy mm. and then, you know, I would say into the house now, but <laughs> this is not Big Brother. But from the academy and now you're doing your thing. So mm. um, tell us about the journey. I know that recently Unveiled was Life Size Teddy, yeah. right? So what's it like being part of the academy? Um, the academy is pretty much, um, it's pretty much come and express yourself. You know, it's pretty much you have studio, you have producers, you know, you have you have time, you know, just book a session and come. With any Whether producer. you want to come, 
You have a, not any producer, of course. <laughs> it's the one that you can reach out to or the one you know that's available. Okay. That maybe maybe producer or you have a producer friend from your house, you know, that you want to come with. You know, just it's just them giving you freedom, you know, to express yourself, you know, for for whatever amount of time you want. Yes. You know, so and that depends on you and how much you want it. You know, so yeah, that's what the academy really mm. is. All right, so yeah. it's a pool of talent, just, and you can just pick on anyone and say, okay. I mean, I don't, I, I, like, I like to understand how does, so I know that George, all of you guys sit together and, you know, but how do you, how do you know who the talent is? How do you, it's you, different from. You don't, you don't know who the talent is. Everybody, everybody that's in the academy was already chosen. Okay. Yeah, so it's not like you are, you are here to compete with anybody. Okay. Yeah, so it's like you, Don Jazzy already finds, you interesting, you know, and you already signed to Maven. Okay. You are just here to work on yourself. Okay. So yeah. So, so it's just like build. so whatever amount of time you need. If you need one year, if you need six months, mm. if you need two years to to work on yourself, that's what you have. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's let's also talk about performances. I mean, you've been performing. You've you know, traveled to a number of places. Mm. What's the reception been like for you? And also, what's that one song that you know when you perform, people will go crazy and mm. fall in love with over and over again? I think, I think, like it's like you said, like elite songs, a lot of them cost a dime. Um, all over colors, um, um, yeah, and the Maven song as well. Um, so like, it's, we are building the catalog, and it's <laughs> amazing. It's growing. You know, yeah, it's growing. It's growing. It's growing. It's growing. All right, tell you what, though, let's go on a quick break. When we get back, we'll do some more talking. Magix is still very much with us in the studio. We'll take him through one of our trending stories, and then uh, we'll talk some more about his upcoming projects and his, uh, you know, his latest single, of course, his third single for the year, amongst other things. Stay with us. There's more to come. Alrighty, you're welcome back. If you just joined us, I don't even know what to say to you because you've missed a ton of good stuff. Magix is our very special guest in the studio. We've talked all about, you know, his projects and what's to come, but he's still here to share with us conversations about what's happening with the Headies, amongst other things. Now, I know you were nominated for the Headies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what category was that again, please? Um, best, best vocal, vocal performance. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, but how did that make you feel? Uh, <laughs> It was, I mean, it's an, it's an, it's a, it's an honor. Yes. So, and not yeah. just the headies. I mean, you were also nominated for the Afrima. And mm -hmm. so do you think that um, awards are like validations for people's, you know, for the work that people put out there? I think the, the, the biggest validation you can give to yourself is self-assurance and self-confidence. You know, once you have that, then nothing is supposed to be able to, like, you know, Overthrown that, okay. you know, when you have that inside of you, and, and that's the only way you can really move forward in life. Mm. You know, that's how I see it. If you don't have it inside of you, if you if you have not validated yourself, people can't even see it. Okay, you know, and I think that's like that's very important. But then it's also like it's also a kind gesture, <clears throat> or it's, it's it's also a great gesture, you know, for people to say, oh, we recognize you for this or for so 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 and so, you know. It's, it's, it's an happy moment. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> okay, uh, because um, Ashake, well, you know, he won the Hedy's Next Rated. Uh, he was the mm -hmm. Hedy's Next Rated artist. And well also, deserved. Yeah, I think so too. And also the album of the year. You know, mm. but there's, um, talk about Ashake, Shea Vibes, you know, all mm. of that, all of that. Do you think that, I mean, well, you've heard the talks of it, right? Ashake, Shea Vibes, the similarities, the differences. Mm. No, what do you think? But it's, it's outright now. Whoever won the award it was outright. Ashake actually like owned pretty much last year, so I don't see like I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. Fantastic. Tell you what we'll do. Let's go on one more break. When All we get right. back, we'll wrap up this side of the show and also do some more talking. Don't forget, this is Silverbird today right here. And uh, there's more to talk about. All right, it's still Silverbird today. Magix is still very much here with us. And final trending story I want to talk to you about is, um, you know, Big Brother star, Tatcha, she's saying that why are the Hedys organizers taking the show abroad to the U.S., right? And, of course, we can argue for different things, but I want to hear from an artist's perspective. You were nominated, you've attended the award ceremonies, you've yeah. done all of this. So, generally, why do you think they're taking it there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. Yes, I because, I mean, you, you guys I, are performing here in Nigeria, right? Yeah. I mean, they, uh, you're performing I, for Nigerians. I generally, Nigerians. I generally can't give you a reason why it is abroad. Okay. So I think maybe but do you think that the access the is bigger abroad? So only the Eddies in the organizing <laughs> committee should come and explain. Because I honestly don't have an idea, Okay. you know, for the reason. You know, but, but whatever reason it is, might be political, you know, might be a strategy known to them, but not known to us artists. Okay. You know, why it is hosted in, in the U.S. Yeah. You know. And maybe, 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 maybe they are probably have sponsors who, who genuinely just want to, you know, take, take it to, to an international to, stage. Yeah, you can can be a, you can be international by being in Nigeria. <laughs> you know, you don't have to take it to the US to be international. Okay. You're already international. I like you know, that. We built this year. We didn't we didn't build it there. You know, so. So I think someone in the head is can explain, but <laughs> explain much, much better you know, than I can. If you're being cryptic, I think I understand that you're saying that it could have been done here, but you know, it was done there. Okay, all right, fair enough. Yeah. But, but coming back to you now, let's let's talk about um, you know your body of work. I want to mm. get into your mind a little bit. I want to understand how you write your your music. You know, mm. so your sound in a way is Afrobeat, but there's a bit of um, if would I be wrong if I said there's a bit of reggae in your tone? Yeah, it's so so it's it's not it's not just reggae. It's also R and B. Okay. You know, it's, it's it's a it's a fusion of R and B and Afro beats and patua. Okay. You know, so and that's that's very much you can you can get that very much on like my project. Even the original Love Don't Cost a Dime yes. was very much patua, much like reggae and R and B mixed with Afro beats. You know, so it's like it's a fusion. Okay. And even loyal as well is like reggae, Afrobeats. Okay. Uh, yeah, so like it's a fusion of so many um, genres. And, and I feel like there's so much more to like the brand magic and there's so much more to, you know, what I want to do, you know, and that is going to be on the album. And I really can't wait for people to see that side of me because a lot of that is not even out yet. You know, that part of me is not out yet. And, and yeah, like this project is really much going to be about stories that I've not told. Okay. You know, stories about my mom, stories about myself, you know, so all that is coming. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so is there going to be, I know, I'm, I know you said you've not selected the songs yet, but given the fact that you mentioned like you might have about over 250 songs, do you think you'll mm. be making as much as a 20 track album? Nah. We, we, we've not seen that in a while. We no, only no, see no, that no, with rappers. Film now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now we say with rappers. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, People's attention span has quite like you know reduced, you know, um, but then that that's that's not dictating the number of our songs that are going to be on album. Okay. But I don't see myself doing a twenty track <laughs> album. <laughs> I don't. Uh, max, 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 fourteen, fifteen, and we are good. Fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, fourteen. All right. All yeah, right. That's okay. the max. So. It's cutting it down. I'm saying for 14, 15, is that 14? <laughs> yeah, it's 14. Like, I just, I just said 15 so that, you know, yeah. All right. No problems. No problems. Um, also, really quickly, just before we let you leave, a um, mm. uh, word for the fans and also, I know that the music is out there now, so how can we find the music and also stream it? Um, first of all, the music is everywhere. Um, Audio Mag, you know, Spotify, all platforms and um so my word for like you out there is that like if you are going through anything right now just know it's like only going to take a bit of time you know um 
most of these things are temporary, you know, and just believe in yourself, you know, keep working hard, you know, hard work always wins, hard work wins every time, mm. you know, every time. So, over talents, you know, so just keep working hard, you know, yeah. Alrighty, thank you so much, Magix, for stopping by. Yeah. And of course, uh, don't forget the music is out there. It's called uh, uh, Maria, and you can go on all streaming platforms to find it. But that said, that's how we draw the curtains on this side of the show. But don't forget, we have a word of the day. It's going to be displayed on your screen. And at the same time, we have our various hashtags that we use: uh, hashtag Say No to Jungle Justice, hashtag No to Election Violence, and yes, like I mentioned, the you know word of the day is displayed right on your screen by uh, Benjamin. Franklin. Also, don't forget that the Miss Universe pageant, the first ever Nigeria Miss Universe pageant, is happening on the 10th of uh, uh, you know 10th of September at the Echo Hotel and Suites. Uh, of course, you can get all your details and how to get the tickets and everything. And also, we'll be showing you clips of in-camp activities on various shows all through the week. Okay, there's also the fashion show as well. Uh, the fashion show is Wednesday. 4 p.m. Uh, Festival Hotel at Festac Town. Yes, so generally you're going to be seeing a lot of it. You see Bridget, you see Tolu, you see Anthony, you know, all your favorite hosts are going to be there and it's going to be an exciting one. But from here, us here at the Silverbird Studios, it's a goodbye and have a good day. <laughs>